Hey everybody, I hope everyone's doing good and having a good week. Um, I've been really impressed at the amount of people that have been doing work lately and turning in high quality work. And I just wanna give a shout out to those of you that have been working really hard. Um, I really appreciate it and I enjoy seeing all your work. That being said, I'd like to introduce you to someone special. This is Mora. It's short for Moraine, but Moraine is a really just awful name and that's what she came with. So she's gonna be Mora. And this is Mora. She's an Oberhosley Doe, which, is, which means girl. And yes, yeah, she's hungry. Um, she's about a month old. And I won her in an online livestock auction. This is what happens when you're quarantined at home and you're bored. You, you go online and you do online charity goat auctions and you win them because you can't lose and you're very competitive and so you end up with things like this huh mora yes you're a good girl as you can see she's a very sweet girl and i already adore her and you guys will too when you finally get to meet her okay so now for the business stuff um hang tight i'm gonna go over uh, the week at the glance for next for well this week I guess um, and kind of give you the rundown of what's next week's gonna look like so hang tight okay and here we have our urban agriculture week at a glance for the week of May 18th through the 22nd the priority standards we're covering this week are PS4 investigate the agricultural industry and possible career paths and opportunities PS5, demonstrate an understanding of the marketing of agricultural products and services. Um, this week we're gonna be watching uh, the latest episode of United by Ag, and it's kind of a Mother's Day special and we're creating floral tabletop arrangements. Um, and the video link is right there. And that kind of ties in with, um, there's an article that came up that said experts say Mother's Day could save the floral industry because a lot of florists have been struggling due to COVID-19. And a lot of those floral shops are locally owned by families, so it's really good to support them. So once finished with the two activities, answer the following questions either by discussion board post in the Zoom meeting, which is on May 20th from noon to one, not the 13th, that was this week's. Um, or you can respond by email. So how did COVID-19 impact the floral industry? How long does it take for a flower to grow it to the right size for use in a floral arrangement? How much does the floral industry generate each year? How can consumers support the floral industry? Which floral design did you prefer? And why did you prefer it? Use your vocab words to back up your claim. And if you chose to do the discussion posts, I'll reply to your thread and provide feedback. If you did it by email, I will just send you a reply with my feedback. And then feedback presented via Zoom, I'll give you verbal feedback right there. So for parents, the video link for this video in particular will be right there. And you can discuss with your student, um, how did COVID-19 impact the floral industry? And how can consumers help the floral industry? Um, a couple of staff members were actually inspired and decided to do our floral challenge along with us and they did their own floral arrangements. So maybe you wanna support the floral industry by buying some flowers and trying your hand at making your own floral arrangement. And if you do, I'd love to see them. So send them to my email, post them in the discussion board. Either way, we'd love to see them. Um, and then in my office hour will be May 20th from noon to one. Um, and there's the link to it, or the link to it's right there, the meeting ID is right there, and the password is GOAT. If you have any questions between now and then, just shoot me an email, call my Google Voice number, um, and that's all on Canvas, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. It's no, I'm usually really quick at checking my email, so that's usually the best, but if it's a pinch and you really need to get a hold of me, just shoot or just call my Google Voice number. It's linked to my phone, so I'll answer right away. Um, and as always, have a great rest of your week. I look forward to hearing from you.